Good morning. Today we're meeting with Jared, who's our shop owner. Good morning, Jared. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. good. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between photorealism and realism tattoos. We've had a lot of clients who maybe are understanding the differences, so I was just curious if you could give us kind of a broad description of the two. Yeah, I think I think this is the the most uh, difficult style, I guess, to communicate and, and to try to be on the same page with clients um, out of all the styles. This is the most challenging one just because the term realism encompasses such a, a broad spectrum of things and, and it's relative. So um, something can be slightly realistic and it can be considered realism. Um, it can be very realistic and it's considered realism. And then you have photorealism where it's, you know, we're going to tattoo as closely to the photograph as possible. Um, there might be some small changes uh, to make, you know, to consider longevity of the tattoo and contrast or, or things like that. But you're still, you're still following the photograph really closely. Um, but uh, realism, so, so photorealism is very easy. If somebody understands what that is, then somebody says, oh, I want photorealism. That's, that's very self-explanatory. But when somebody says I want realism, I mean, realism could also include photorealism. So it's just all over the place. Um, you could do something illustrative with some realism in there and it could still be considered a realistic piece. So um, that's just a hard, hard one. Okay. So we have a couple of artists here. You do realism and photorealism. And then we have a couple of artists who do realism here. In order to match a client with somebody to give them what they're looking for what would you recommend to guide them towards whether they're looking for photorealism or realism um i think if if they're not sure the the best thing is to have them either bring in some references or send some references or you know look for some references i don't normally like to to do that or to tell people to go do that um, but with realism, I, I think it's necessary if they're not 100%, you know, if, if they aren't 100% knowing where they're at, exactly what they want. Um, and can they communicate that to us? Because where, where there's that, uh, you know, kind of interpretation of realism, uh, since that spectrum's broad, then you could tell me you want realism and we still may not be on the same page. What I produce might be different than what you're thinking. So <clears throat> I think it's definitely best to have you know, to do some browsing and see what style of realism you're liking or what, uh, maybe style isn't the, the what, um, measure of realism you're wanting since it goes, starts down here and goes, you know, clear up here. Okay. That sounds like great advice. Um, with photo realism, does that mean it could be any photo? Because I think some people, when they think photorealism, they're looking for portraits. Is there a difference in that? Or is it just, we try to replicate a photo? Um, no, so like when somebody, for example, when somebody tells me they want a photorealistic rose, um, I generally don't want them to find the rose. You know, I want to find the roses because I'm looking for certain things that they're not going to know to look for. So for example, when somebody wants a portrait, um, I'll, ha I'll have them send in a dozen or more pictures of that person because hopefully one of them works. Um, just because you have a photo doesn't mean it's going to be a great tattoo or it's going to be tattooable at all. Um, it needs to be high resolution. The lighting needs to be right. Like we need to have the full spectrum of dark to light in the tattoo or, or in the photo or it's not going to make a good tattoo. So there's just a lot of things I'm looking for in a photograph. So um, it's it's best if the artist does that. Does that answer your question? Or, that does. No, I think that makes uh, sense because I think some people have just had a couple of unsure questions of what they're looking for in a photo realistic or more of a realistic photo. So I think that answered and gave it a little bit more of a broad definition yeah the 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 photorealistic i mean any you we, you can tattoo anything that can be photographed and that would be considered photorealistic as long as you're sticking really close to the photograph or you know as close as you can okay awesome so. thank you so really all in all photorealism is going to be as close to a photo as possible 
realism is a very broad spectrum and mm -hmm. the best way to move forward with that would definitely be a consult with some reference photos yes definitely all right thank you so much for sitting and talking with me about that today jared thank you